Some very big news tonight involving one of Detroit's historical gyms. The federal government has given the city the go ahead to start renovating historic Fort Wayne. Tim Pamplin went there today and shows us why this project is so badly needed. There's no denying it. Historic Fort Wayne has seen better days. Having languished for the last 20 or 30 years in a state of disrepair, a dozen different departments of five different government bodies, city, county, state, federal, even tribal councils, having their say, what should happen with this site? But finally, there's a solution. And for the city of Detroit, this is an exciting day. We've had a lot of exciting days recently re related to Fort Wayne. Federal rules dictated how these buildings had to be restored. And with so many agencies involved, you betcha, there was lots of bound up red tape. Some of which have taken 20 years to untangle. So now with the deeds in hand, the city says renovation of this site will begin next year. They say the timing was impeccable, considering what's happening right next door. It could not come at a better time. We are very excited about Gordie Howe International Bridge landing right at the footstep of Fort Wayne. So as we take flight with Drone 4 over the barracks built in 1848, Megan tells me they're looking for community input. Nothing will happen here without your say. Get involved. That is the scene over historic Fort Wayne today. Tim Pamplin, Local 4.